Welcome to Decentralized News. Today we are just uh, going through the Global Crypto Hedge Fund Report 2021 by uh, Price Waterhouse Coopers. So this is pretty much a uh, a report that provides an overview of the uh, digital or glo global crypto hedge fund uh, landscape uh, and offers insights into both uh, quantitative uh, elements such as uh, liquidity terms, trading of uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, performance and uh, qualitative aspects as well such as uh, best in practice uh, with respect to custody and governance and uh, so by sharing these insights uh, with the broader uh, crypto industry what they're hoping to achieve here is to encourage adoption and uh, adoption of uh, sound practices by uh, market participants as uh, this uh, whole global uh, cryptocurrency digital asset uh, ecosystem continues to expand so um, we're just going to look at some of the uh, specifics here of uh, what's covered within this report so if we're looking at uh, crypto hedge funds and uh, sort of the size of the market and uh, the assets that are under management they are estimating that the the total assets under management of uh, crypto hedge funds globally increased to nearly uh, 3.8 billion in 2020 and uh, from uh, 2 billion uh, the previous year so the percentage of uh, crypto hedge funds with uh, assets under management uh, over 20 million increased in 2020 from 35 uh, percent to about 46 percent and uh, the average assets under management uh, for this year's 2021 uh, and the surveyed uh, funds increased from um, around 12.8 million to about 42.8 uh, million while the median uh, assets uh, under management also increased from uh, 3.8 million to uh, slightly over 15 million so the median um, assets under management uh, at, uh, at fund launch is actually about uh, 1 million indicating that obviously funds have generally had uh, or seen uh, quite an impressive uh, 15 uh, x uh, sort of increase in uh, assets under management when it comes to sort of performance and uh, fees uh, the median crypto hedge fund uh, returned uh, on average about uh, uh, plus 128 percent in 2020 versus about uh, 30 percent uh, in 2019 and uh, the median uh, be uh, best performance strategy in 2020 was actually uh, discretionarily long uh, about 294 uh, percent following or followed by a discretionary uh, long short of uh, about uh, plus of 129 percent the multi strategy at about 114 percent and uh, uh, quant funds averaging about 72 uh, percent so the median management and uh, performance fees remained pretty much unchanged at about two percent and 20 percent respectively and the average uh, management fees were also stable at about 2.3 percent but average performance fees increased from uh, about 21.1 percent to about 22.5 percent with uh, 49 percent of uh, crypto hedge funds having uh, either a hard or soft lock and about 31 percent if either an investor level or fund level gate so that's pretty much the landscape and uh, sort of how it's looking as far as the numbers that they've been able to to uh, to get uh, as far as uh, performances and uh, fees uh, for hedge funds <clears throat> and uh, in terms of uh, kind of just the profiles of the investor types and uh, the average ticket sizes I mean the vast majority of investors in crypto hedge funds are either you know, uh, high net worth individuals, about 54% of them, and uh, family offices making up about 30% of that. And the median, uh, median ticket size is about uh, 0 0.4 million, while the average ticket is about 1.1 million. Uh, over half of crypto uh, funds actually have uh, average size ticket sizes of about 0 0.5 million, 
and below and uh, crypto hedge funds uh, have a median of uh, uh, 23 separate investors as well within pulling those funds together and as far as the fund strategies and uh, just activities in trading in general the most crypto uh, the most common crypto hedge fund strategy is uh, quantitative uh, 30 percent or 37 percent of the funds uh, and then that's uh, followed by discretionary long or short at about uh, 28 percent and then again discretionary long only sitting at about 20 percent with the multi strategy uh, strategies being about 11 percent uh, among these uh, hedge funds and uh, most crypto hedge funds are actually trading BTC I think 92 percent of them followed by Ethereum about 67 percent of them are Litecoin about 34 percent Chainlink 30 percent uh, Dot uh, 28 percent and Aave at uh, 27 percent of them are trading uh, these assets and uh, about uh, half of uh, crypto hedge funds also trading derivatives 56 percent of them but short selling is drastically reduced from about uh, I think 48 percent to about 28 percent um, in 2020 so uh, crypto hedge funds are also involved in cryptocurrency staking 42% uh, of them are 33% uh, of them are involved in lending and 24% uh, of them are uh, exploring uh, borrowing as well and as far as uh, what's going on on the governance side uh, the percentage of crypto hedge funds are using an independent custodian decreased in 2020 from about 81% to 76% and the percentage with at least one independent director on the board decreased from about 43% to 38% in 2020 and uh, the percentage of uh, crypto hedge funds using third party research increased from uh, 38% to 47% in 2020 with 88% uh, using an independent uh, fund administrator uh, in 2020 as well up from 86 percent back in uh, 2019 and as far as where these funds are located uh, these tend to be domiciled uh, in the, the same jurisdictions as uh, traditional hedge funds with the top three being uh, the Cayman Islands which has about 34 percent of the funds there uh, the U.S. has got about 33 percent which is quite significant as well Gibraltar with about nine percent and uh, the most common location for crypto hedge fund managers actually in the US is 43%, followed by the UK, which is about 19%, and Hong Kong, which is about 11%. As far as uh, kind of non crypto um, traditional focused hedge funds, that's not something that we will uh, necessarily go into um, in this video because I just wanted to make sure. I give you just a snapshot of the uh, what the actual global crypto hedge fund report from our PwC is uh, saying in terms of some of those numbers. I'll leave a link to the actual full report. Uh, it's quite a detailed report, about uh, 52 pages long. So make sure you peruse that and uh, make sure you also check out uh, the other links in the description if you're interested and uh, make sure you like, share and you subscribe turn on the notification bell and uh, do suggest if there are any projects uh, that you would like us to have a look at uh, we're happy to do that for you but again also make sure you uh, check out uh, tokenized trillions a lot of people asking me how you can you know kind of uh, real world assets are being tokenized on the blockchain and uh, kind of what that process is and what the outlook looks like tokenized trillions pretty much looks into all the major uh, asset uh, categories such as real estate and equities in quite uh, uh, depth and uh, also blockchain applied just looks at uh, you know cross um, industry healthcare supply chains uh, insurance uh, transport pretty much uh, financial markets, uh, all of that sort of stuff as well in terms of uh, diving more deeply into the actual use cases and uh, giving real life examples of how uh, particular companies are leveraging blockchains or DLTs to actually find solutions. 
And uh, if you're someone who's just into online business in general, welcome to check out uh, navigate-digital.com. It is uh, obviously a platform where you've got curated tools that will pretty much help you navigate your way into the online space, whatever you need, whether it's to uh, get like cloud resources, developers, coding tools, uh, you know, kind of uh, domains, hosting, uh, productivity tools, anything that you need, pretty much it's all there for you. And I think there's over a hundred and something courses all dealing with online business. And uh, yeah, you know, make sure you check those out. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.